Anila Singh, spokesperson of the BJP, Professor Geeta Bhatt, academician and uh, RSS thinker, Tessin Poonawala, political analyst, leans towards the Congress party and Professor Dinesh Vashni, leader of the CPI, all joining us. Professor Dinesh Vashni, let me ask you, a lot was made about the Shankaracharyas not going for the event. I just spoke to one such Shank uh, Shankaracharya and he's not willing, you know, to, to take the line that political leaders are taking that they have a problem with the PM's presence there or with the manner the ceremony is taking place. Was the opposition, uh, including the left and the Congress, a little bit premature to jump onto these conclusions? No, Shivani, I do not want to go into the controversy on behalf of my party into hmm. the Shankaracharyas going or not. Hmm. My only, our only point of view is that this is Ram Mandir inauguration and Ram Mandir movement itself since its inception is a political movement of the BJP and RSS to capture the power and to polarize the votes in a communal manner. But this sir, has happened statement, and this is happening now even. But sir, your statement is factually so incorrect. The Ram temple uh, movement or the desire of the Hindu public in the country to have a Ram temple there the court case itself precedes the BJP. The BJP wasn't even born at that time. And this case, this matter, this conflict precedes even the RSS. The, look, the Vish Hindu Parishad is a, a brainchild of RSS. Hmm. There are 110 organizations, these type of organizations supported by the Vish Hindu RSS throughout the country. They are used one or the other organization for these communal purposes. This temple movement itself has brought the BJP from two member of parliament to 311 member of parliament. Hmm. So they have got a grow, uh, they have got a roti, ki ab har varisi ki roti pakhayenge. So that is our objection. As far as the Ram, uh, the faith of the people of India in the Ram, God, God, God Ram is concerned, everybody know that it has been misused and utilized by the BJP RSS in favor of their board polarization. Hmm. That is our objection. No, your, that may be your objection, but the reality of the Ram temple and its desire is, has nothing to do with just the RSS or the BJP. It's a 500 year old Look, history and uh, I'm sorry more, to say, but even on a day than, like today, how, than, can you, than, how can you disregard that history? Shivani, Shivani, over, 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 one well, lakh like, Ram temples are existing in Hindi belt, Hindi patti. So? Every gully and nook and corner have one or the other temple of the Ram temple and other Hindu god and goddesses. There is no objection to that. Nobody has ever objected. So Never what is your objection been, to the Ram have, temple? So then you do, no, I'm movement. sorry, the Professor Dinesh Vashni, then your objection is not to the BJP taking political benefit. Your objection is directly to the Ram temple. Then accept it. Why are you bringing other no, temples our, into it? Look. The Ram Temple inauguration has been made by Prime Minister Modi in a manner that it is a BJP event. That's they a separate issue. Using the opposition leaders, why are you not going? No, no, why are they not inviting, inviting Advani ji and Murli Manohar Joshi? Advani why are they not inviting going? the Murli Manohar Joshi and Advani ji? Advani why are they throwing going? them away? Why are they throwing them away? Are you, but you are not listening to what I am saying. That is after a lot of pressure. LK Advani is going for the ceremony. That is after a lot of pressure. Age. Okay, but I'm not asking you that question. You know, you Shivani. cannot use, one second, sir, you cannot use the presence or the absence of one or two individuals to take away the very faith of the public as far as this site is concerned. You just said that there are hundreds of Ram temples in North India. Nobody has an objection. So by virtue of saying that you have an objection to this temple, right? You find it illegitimate. Say it. We have no you cannot play it both ways. Temple. You cannot we say we no respect the faith of Hindus and then also object to the temple. No, no. We, no, we respect the faith, we respect every temple. But we, dis, uh, we disrespect the political, political okay. utilization of the faith and belief of the people as it is been done by Prime Minister Modi, BJP and RSS. Okay, the BJP representative will respond to that, but I wasn't asking you that question particularly. Taisin Punawala, I want to ask you before I go to Anila Singh. You know, there is a precedent that has come to light from the Somnath Mandir. I mentioned this at the start of the show. Then President Rajendra Prasad was part of that ceremony despite objection from then Prime Minister. Let's just face it. There is no secularism coming under threat by the head or a representative of a quote-unquote secular government being part of this event. It is just a difference of opinion and a difference of ideologies. And you cannot argue or the Congress cannot argue that everything will run according to Nehruvan principles only whether they are in power today or not. They've got to move on. 
Shivani at the onset first of all a very very happy Makar Sankranti and all festivities to you to all our fellow panelists to all your viewers and in Pune where I am today we say till good gya and good good bola so let's talk sweetly so very very happy festivities to you uh, you're right uh, Nehruvian um, principles should not come into 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 question right now simply because Nehru ji constructed the Somnath temple that's a debate we'll get into another day no, he did not I did. If I see Shivani will divert because I want to stick to the Ram Temple, okay, sure. but I know my history. We'll we'll get, we'll get that. He did. He actually constructed it, and it was constructed for somebody from Pune, Gadgil Ji. But that's a separate history. We'll go into that some other day. We will do a special show and invite me. And I and I want to ask you two questions with a lot of respect. Like you re- rightly said that the Honorable President of India then, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, went to the Somnath Temple. The President of India is the head of our constitution. Today, whatever your religious belief may be. Hmm. the ram temple you and i shivani believe is a civilizational movement for our country why isn't the president of india there hmm. she wasn't even invited at our parliament she isn't there hmm. i'm asking you as an indian let's leave politics aside shouldn't our president have been there now you rightly said shivani i have a lot of respect for you 500 years of struggle who fought this you said shivani i'm quoting you no rss no vhp no no bajrang dal hmm. no bjp who fought it the nirmoy akhada and as i speak the nirmoy akhada people have whatsapp me you know their representatives their manans um, um, their their seats are not even invited inside the 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 pious area they're not there you call communists you call actors the ones who actually fought this battle hmm. the nirmoy akhada the honorable supreme court gave them a seat They, they were the owners of this land. The title mm. dispute, the land's gone to them. Where are they? Look, today the VHP is distributing invites. It's a political outfit. You know it. You you know it, and I know it. Shivani, let's not take away from that. Mm. Why couldn't the Nirmoy Akhara distribute it? They fought this battle. They are the ones who gave their lives. They are the ones who started this uh, movement. Today they have been sidelined. And, okay. And you, But is the Congress's objection? No, is the Congress's objection? Uh, as far as I understand, you can nitpick as much as you want. No, hundred percent satisfaction can be achieved in a country of one point four billion. But I'll take your points to the BJP representative. If they have completely hogged this event, which is a relevant criticism coming their way. But the question I'm asking you, the scene is a little bit different. There, a lot of criticism is taking place, and people who don't even believe in Hindu faith suddenly they're acting like they do everything in life only according to the directions of the four Shankaracharyas. in this country suddenly the shankracharya's word is supreme to them leave th- that hypocrisy aside they are suggesting that this temple is incomplete therefore prang pratishtha should not have happened there seems to be a precedent not just in this uh, somnath but also in some other temples they seem to suggest that this is a political event because the pm is going actually i believe the president is also invited on uh, 21st she's kick starting the prang pratishtha which happens a day before but i leave that aside Then president was part of it. Then PM didn't want it. Today the prime minister is not of the Nehruvian mindset. Today the prime minister wants it. If we assume that in in 1951 situation was different, who knows? Maybe then prime minister would have joined that event. It's only because Pandit Nehru himself was of a particular inclination and belief that things went a certain way. This is not to say that what's happening today is wrong. Okay, but then let's take your. your argument slightly further hmm. let's believe those who don't believe in bhagwan shri ram or maryada purushottam shri ram are today putting up an act let's accept it the communists and i have a lot of respect for dinesh professor sabia why they invited there what have their belief why the it is why these actors and models and all of them being called there what is it at least those who fought should have been felicitated and i get your point i'm not moment. taking away so, from so, that so, point so, my so, point so is now, largely so now, the so now opposition coming, that now, is coming from the congress coming, party now, Their no, official release know. said this is a political event and a BJP yes, RSS just, event, but let's face so, it: the government of the day being part of such an event, one is neither unprecedented, and fundamentally, you cannot prove that it is wrong in any way. Yes, but what is wrong is when the BJP removes posters of opposition leaders saying you are not coming. That's politicization. When they remove a poster which they have to withdraw after our criticism, where they show the honourable prime minister bigger than Lord Ram, that is wrong. That politicization is wrong. Look, Shivani, Kan Kan or Shan Shan may Shri Ram. If someone does not go on twenty second, he'll go on twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth. Who is the BJP? Who the hell are they? They were not even born to remove posters about opposition and show prime minister bigger than Lord Ram. Okay. That is the objection. So your objection is purely that the BJP. 
BJP is making too much. Is doing uh, politics. Is doing politics on yes. this. But you do not have the, any objections. And I don't know no, whether no. you can speak for the entire Congress ecosystem today. But you don't have an no. objection to the Prime Minister being at this event. I because that's what the Congress's Prime objection Minister, is. This is, a, this, is a, this is a cultural event. Forget the religious part. It's also a cultural event. It's India's cultural revival. So good the Prime Minister is going. Okay. I have an objection the President's not going. I have a bigger objection. Okay.